Oh, okay, uh, my name is Esteban Betancourt. No, Esteban or Stephen Esteban Betancourt con R fuerte. Uh, that's kind of a problem uh, I'm facing here uh, because for us, at least for me, uh, English is not so easy. And uh, that's, in fact, my English sucks. So <laughs> I will try to do uh, a presentation uh, in Spanish, doing some comments in English for you people who only speak English, but. Yeah, the paper is in Spanish, and I wrote it in Spanish. Yeah. It's and the tools are taught for Spanish people, uh, for Latin American guys, so I hope it's not a complete mess. Um, but I have to excuse myself, and I hope you understand uh, my reasons. So, Ch music is una librería para convertir Chuk en un lenguaje tipo algorrey. What does it mean? Ch music. It's like Chuk music. Uh, I will show you first uh, motivations. Las motivaciones iniciales serían: está hecho para programadores inexpertos. Al principio, niños solamente. Uh, when this, pro uh, this project started, it was built just for kids. But then I uh, just realized that everyone and every inexperienced programmer could be um, at, in, at the same level in uh, programming, for, at the same point from kids. Uh, so it's for inexperienced programmers, programmers inexpertos. <coughs> La otra razón es. No me gusta encasillar a nadie en, o obligar a nadie a escribir y soy profesor. Entonces ser profesor e intentar que las personas escribieran sus propios lenguajes siempre fue mi motivación. Esa es la segunda razón. Permitir que los programadores inexpertos puedan desarrollar nuevas sintaxis y relaciones semánticas diferentes o mapeos diferentes a los que ya están establecidos. Eh, What, this, that, that second reason is the reason because I, I just I just chuck, chuck at the base language for this thing because chuck is very simple to extend. Yeah, you don't have to recompile you know, the class library anytime you do a, a new class, you just add the class. You write another class, you write it and wrote it and, and you write it and, and it's easy to, to extend. Uh, it's not so complicated as pure data or super collider. I say complicated because I'm talking about unexperienced programmers. Experiencias significativas. Eh, I siempre encuentro que la primera vez que alguien se, se enfrenta ante la programación, si no es una experiencia eh, lo suficientemente alegre, tiende a pensar que esto solo es para genios. Pues, y es como lo que se piensa todas las personas que no han estado en, como inmersas en, la, en esto tienden a pensar que la programación solo es para personas muy como fuera de órbita algunos de ustedes lo son y los admiro quería decir esto desde siempre pero eh, pero no es la, la generalidad de la población no, eh, hay personas que no, nunca van a llegar a un nivel tan alto de programación y una experiencia significativa inicial potente es como lo que he encontrado que es más lo que hace que las personas continúen la programación. Uh, so if you are trying to, to to teach anyone to program, I found that the first the first experience with a programming language is like the most important. Yeah, because if you don't even know what's a programming language, and someone tell you let's program and you spend like six hours just putting uh, some program in your computer then two hours setting, setting up and configuring things and then you are like no go hell with this if you are an experienced programmer if you are not thinking of being a computer scientist if you are just uh, a guy in, in a, that does 
anything for living and job, uh, you're just trying to program because it's fun. Uh, the first experience I found is the most important experience. Eh, estoy inspirado de eh, estos trabajos. Ixilan, eh, uno de los más importantes y grandes referentes. Solo en Py, no tanto, pero es el único lenguaje que abiertamente está diseñado para estas primeras experiencias. Common, Tidal. Uh, digo common, uh, I, I will say this in English uh, because Alex McQueen is looking at me like. Uh, <laughs> Common, I will say, uh, it's like the, 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 the title expressions that are uh, like the, the simple ones, like you just, you just put B, D inside the title part and just boom, 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 and everyone's like, ah, okay. <laughs> so that's the common title. Now they has Kilian, Berg, and uh, blocks, do, do, do blocks or that are uh, for very advanced sign, computer sign or very advanced programmers, so it's like common title that I found that's very educational, the common, the simple ones, expressions. Y proyectos como extramuros, que son neutrales eh, al lenguaje. I, ojalá no me equivoque con esto, tampoco, pero extramuros. I would find that this platform, so simple platform that it's just a collaborative, collaborative environment um, to write multiple buffers of text, but you don't have to write in a specific language. You can interpret extra words and supervisor and chalk or whenever language you want. So it's very powerful because it doesn't require installation for the e-commerce. The, the only one that had to spend like 24 hours installing things is the teacher. Uh, so the kids just come, or the newcomers, or the inexperienced programmers, just come and connect to uh, an internet um, local server, and you just have to type these new expressions, and right now you have sound, or images, or... I will pass this fast, this is the way chopped uh, does uh, a pattern like a thing. It's very hard for to explain a, a kid what what the hell is why true if you are if you don't even know how to speak English. So if you are a, a Latin American kid and with no very advantages in life, so what the hell is why true? You have to explain English first. You have to spend like six months explaining what the hell it's float or int or now. Then after that six months, you can write this and the, the kid, it's not in, even in your class right now, the kids in, <laughs> doing anything else. Esto es muy importante porque aunque Chuck sea muy versátil, Eh, es un lenguaje que es de dominio específico para la música y para la síntesis, pero no está pensado para lo que yo estoy intentando explicar. Eh, esto es un ejemplo simple. Esto sería un ejemplo de Chuck para hacer lo mismo que hice ahora, pero con varias funciones. Esto permite hacer polirritmos y aquí es peor explicar aún porque esto incluye multi-threading, ya nadie entendería de qué estamos hablando. Entonces me voy a ir a los referentes. Como en Tiger. La diferencia de esto a esto es visible, ¿cierto? So, the, when I first got into Tiger, I was writing chat programs like this, and then Alexandro Cartman showed me this, and I said, oh, that's for kids. <laughs> uh, because you can understand that sounds make sounds. Bass drum, it's like a bass drum. Hi hat, it's like a bass hat. And everyone's like clear what happens after you type this. Entonces, luego de ver esto, descubrí que había otro tipo de formas semánticas y mapeos sintácticos diferentes que podían servir para enseñar. 
y aquí llegamos a la primera versión entonces esto es pasamos de esta expresión a esta expresión donde estamos usando eh, la, mismo, la programación adaptada a objetos de Chuck tal cual como se hace, cualquiera puede extender las clases de Chuck simplemente ejecutar la clase y aquí tiene un ritmo de batería escrito en dos líneas esto fue un primer experimento luego se hizo un segundo experimento donde la programación incluía funciones sigue siendo orientada a objetos porque Chuck es orientada a objetos pero eh, aquí para usar para disparar los triggers oh, the, the, the arguments of the function are like triggers from a title pattern right now the second version you have functions or um, see, yeah there are functions that does the same that uh, arise in the first example this is a second version and after this work uh, we get to a mini language that's called sequence i'm not talking about sequence right now because the next uh, in the next talk we will we'll talk about that language so just hold it Yeah. That's the diagram. Esto se refiere a la evolución de los lenguajes. Bueno, mi idea no es escribir un lenguaje de programación como Tidal o como Chuck o como Super Collider. No es mi interés, no soy un científico de la computación, pero estoy muy interesado en que los, las personas sin, que sin experiencia se acerquen a esto, se queden a aguantar lo que les viene. O sea, que puedan soportar el trabajo que va a continuación. Y esto se da en un proceso que es más o menos este, que es desarrollar una herramienta cualquiera, cualquier sema semántica, mapeos de teclas, sintaxis específica, luego probarla en vivo. Luego de probarla en vivo y cometer todos los errores posibles, eh, los usuarios tienen una retroalimentación. O sea, mis eh, unexperienced programmers eh, shows this doesn't work, this doesn't work, I, under, I don't understand this sentence, I don't understand this and then we have changes in the, in the language y es muy fácil de cambiar porque es un lenguaje que solo debo cambiar una clase y re ejecutar si no me gusta el nombre drum puedo poner batería y va a funcionar con un cambio que se demora 10 segundos de hacer si quiero nombres en español, en francés si quiero nombres personales como tamborcito o lo que quieran, todos pueden ser incluidos en el lenguaje fácilmente por el mismo usuario y ahí volvemos al proceso de desarrollo y así sucesivamente eso también puede ir en el otro sentido y lo he descubierto que los artistas y no programados que vienen a este tipo de, de, de experiencias son muy propositivos en términos sintácticos porque tienen una forma de ver el gesture very, that's very different from the computer scientist the, they write things uh, like they have very different ideas of how to express the same semantic sentence in a very different syntax so this process is very important now uh, el, pro el proyecto se, re se desarrolla en el contexto del grupo algoritmos para que quede claro, el algoritmo no es un grupo musical, no es nada de eso, es un colectivo donde las personas que quieren aprender a programar se acercan. Cualquiera que se acerca y dice quiero aprender a programar es de algoritmos al instante. Entonces, es una comunidad abierta donde cualquier persona, ya sea programador, no, sea, no programador, músico, artista, eh, lo que sea, puede venir y al instante es recibido en el grupo. Eso que permite que todos los, los que vienen, los newcomers, eh, son, se comprometen al desarrollo de la plataforma. I'm not a developer. Everyone in the, in the context of algorithms is the developer of the tool. Everyone proposes syntaxes, everyone can propose a semantic map, map. everyone can propose a new class and new names, new different things. So, That's for that. That's the reason for we have this community, and also the the last advantage is that we have free and consent documentation because everyone has to write 
the documentation for the improvements before getting implemented. That's like a commitment we have. Así que cada quien que propone un cambio tiene que, por obligación, decir qué va a hacer, cómo va a funcionar antes de implementarlo. Eso significa que tenemos documentación de todos los cambios que se han hecho en todo el proceso. Y eh, con esto les que, pues voy a hacer una pequeña muestra. Esto es parte de lo que les quiero mostrar. Eh, you can, for example, chart. Can, you can extend chart to every, to any word you want. So algorithm right now it's like a time variable. Uh, it's like seconds or days or weekends or whatever you want. So this has different. If you read this, people that's an experience just reading that thing is like, oh yeah, I'm out of a raven. <laughs> Very different if you say something like this. Yes, okay, works, but it's boring. So, this is the kind of things you can do easily. Uh, now you just play, so. This is the second, this is a, 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 a most complex version for the most experienced of our unexperienced guys. Uh, you are going to see one of them tonight at the other way. Uh, he started with zero, for two, he started from zero from programming, now he's a very advanced programmer. And he is one of the guys that's using this library that's more, that, that is more advanced than the one that I just show you on the on the language that that, that I'm going to show you next. So let's sh sit down. We are using the, the first, it was implemented in the, in the first version of DIRT, of our title, the origin of DIRT. And now we are using Chalk as a platform for the Super DIRT. So we have this, this favorite thing that you can write title, patterns, uh, 
my truck Audi and Giant. But what that was accidental. That was it for this project, and then things just start to uh, to evolve. Then uh, this is okay. Uh, I'm just going to stop this for now. Every one of these words can be changed. Every one of the sentences can be changed, and, and we have de developed. I just developed a cursor for a mini language and, and can work in any in, in different ways of doing this, the same patterns. Eh, eso sería todo. Eh, si alguien quiere hacer preguntas. Si las hace en inglés, habla de espacio. Si las hace en español, puede hablar en mexicano, español, chileno, como quiera. First problem we had because Chuck is very time strongly, you can type very uh, precise ways of synchronizing things, but you, it, it's difficult to look very long structures. In. So, the first problem with doing this with kids that, that what was that. So, I implemented like an algorithm that it takes. It's very, I, it's very similar the way that um, other languages for the algorithm does. So we had this cycle uh, algorithm that really compiles the file every time you execute it, and it waits until the end of the the pattern. So you can, you are never out of the pattern because it reloops. It's very inspirated to take on the way it does the that's how we We have the, the next talk is about a different tool, but we implemented one of the languages, so you are going to see it. Okay. Uh, you talked about um, designing the language to be helpful for experienced programmers. Can you talk about things that were like especially helpful for newcomers? Yeah, I think the first thing. And, and we never thought about it was the, the problem of the word itself because maybe if you are English from born you are natural with words like um, yield for example but that word is untranslatable in Spanish so you, you have to spend like a week trying to explain a kid what that thing so the language itself is very helpful because Everyone it's ha has like this own ways of doing things. So some kids, even in the same country, from I don't know if in every place of the world, but in Colombia, kids from different cities use very different concepts to describe the same thing. So just the word was great. The the other thing was that the algorithm the algorithm to to synchronize things. Um, okay, the loop, the, the, the algorithm, the concept algorithm is very powerful, so when people can do music for dancing or musical patterns for that sounds musical, in, in a very easily understandable syntax, like the one you are going to see next, uh, it's, they are like very excited because it's like, Oh yeah, I understand why it sounds like pizza. It's 
not that uh, very abstract things. So they are some of the answers, but there are every person presents like a very different point of view, and that's the the, the, the powerful of this the power point of this concept that everyone can do whatever he wants with the language. Okay. Thank you. Muchas gracias.